Right guys, Mark Crossfield here in my hands today, the Callaway Epic Hybrid. I'm on the range and the golf course here at Las Colinas in Spain. We're going to do a bit of testing dry and as well out on the course of this new Epic Hybrid. Just how epic can a hybrid be? Let's get stuck in. So what do we get in this Callaway Epic Hybrid? We get apparently everything that you're finding in the Epic Driver. So triaxle, carbon design, so they're leaving weight, losing weight in certain areas, a lot of weight from what their um, kind of guff says, and then position it in the right place to try and in effect get the maximum out of your hybrid. And this is where I always have a little bit of a trip up because how much do you want to get out of your hybrid? For me, like I've said in other videos, I just want my hybrid to go where it goes, basically. Now, the thing I notice with this hybrid, which I do like, the way it sits down on the ground, it's got this kind of quite high toe. It's a very pleasing shape. It's got very epicness about it. I use the driver, we get the two little bumps here, get this kind of carbon look on top as well. Um, you get the changeable neck also in this club, so you can move around lofts two degrees up, one degree down, as well as lie. So you're getting everything Callaway have been offering for a while, but in this epic brand and in this epic design around kind of strengthening in and moving weight down by the ball it does look nice i always find they look a little bit too roll and bulgy for me so that's how much the kind of face curves which is what i really like about hybrids but this one just sits down at the ground and i always see a lot of roll and bulge and i've not measured it i don't reckon it actually is anymore it's just with the white score lines the dark gray and the black for some reason for me it just looks more curved now remember that curve is there to help you it does sit very square and like i say it does feel very good off the face. Let's have a look at these dry ball data numbers I've collected with my GC quad. So Epic Quad 18 degrees, so it's my power hybrid. I've got 17.5 in this region. And I'm looking for around kind of 210 to 220 yards. Now it goes 210 carry, spinning and averaging around 38, topping out at 227. I mean, that is a bullet ball. And then dropping down to 197, all built around my strike. So the numbers are kind of where I want, it, uh, want that club to be. You could argue it's fractionally on the higher end of my power hybrid, but only from one shot, the other four, or the other three shots all fill very much into what my hybrid does to that slightly shorter um, kind of distance that it gets. Solid numbers. Uh, let's take it out on the golf course. Right, 18 degree epic hybrid on the course. This hole is 460 yards, so it's going to need two epic hybrids to get on this screen. Maybe slightly helping him win, but let's see what I can do on the course of it. You saw my tops to my... So if I hit my two top shots, I might get on the front, in theory. I hit that good. It's a little up the right side, though, so it will make it longer. I wanted to turn it from there, but felt nice. Can I get on a 460-yard par 4? Epic. This is epic everywhere on it. Right, just up the right side, so I'm 250 out. This is going to have to be struck. The only good thing with being in the semi is I might get it higher on the face and get that low spinner, but it's quite above my feet here. Well, is that really good? It's heading right side of the green, maybe. I don't know, I have to get up there. See, I can't see. Hit that well. It was kind of high toey. So low spinning, high launching, nice. I mean, there's plenty of face down by the ball, which I do like with this one. And it does feel like I could get the most out of my hybrid. I particularly don't feel like I need that. Again, I want my hybrid to go an exact distance. But if you're wanting to push this like as a one iron, two iron, you know, get kind of up with your free wood so you don't have massive gaps, this might do it for some people. So there's a bunker just here. Then there's a bunker just here, and you could argue I threaded that. Let's have an old hybrid chip. I'm liking the hybrid. I'm quite happy with my power hybrid. I don't feel like I need to change. That's not a bad, I need the chip with hybrids more. I'm much more 
chippy with them. <laughs> and I've spoken about the price. I mean, I don't see, me personally, any benefits in spending more in le if you can get something or the same results which I feel I can from other ones but I also understand the benefits of wanting maybe a Rolex instead of an Apple watch do you know what I mean it's that's not what it's about for me these are built I would say from the highest materials or I would have to just go on what they kind of put out in their press releases that's where your cost is gonna be and the kind of love that they put into them when it comes to if you're thinking of it just on performance well Go and rate them on performance and go and test for yourself. It's always the best thing. I think it's a good performer. It's not particularly outperforming my cheaper one than this. Not that my one's a cheap one, but I like it. <laughs>